Okay, something is SOSing. I think my base is under attack. Where, though? Oh! What the hell is this crap? Okay, we're playing on the computer's easiest mode, and I'm not feeling very confident about how things are going. And we lost. <laughs>
So if I fly up and over here, there's a neutral base. I can drop off my infantry and now they will actually do something that will go in and capture. So you can have like offensive orders, defensive orders. Okay, hold on here. Go in the base, capture the base. You can have offensive and defensive orders. You can mix it up with tanks and stuff. So now one soldier is in there. I have to put four soldiers in the space to fully capture the base. And that's how you take over bases and then you can build units here. Notice also that my energy is declining. The E in the top, uh, see I just exploded there. So there's an E bar, that's your energy bar. And when that runs out, you die. In order to replenish energy, you have to hover over your base. Guns, which you can shoot. Um, there was this button here. B is shoot. C brings up your menu to build stuff. And then A is like transform slash pick things up. There's a variety of things. But notice as I shoot, my guns are actually depleting when I'm away from my base. Uh, I think B is your... No, D is the amount of damage you can take. I forget what B is. Anyway, those are the basic uh, controls here. And again, you can build a variety of units. And these supply units will actually supply your troops. Because they also have fuel and they can run out of energy uh, on the way to enemy bases. They can run out of ammo if they are busy firing like I am here. Um, and interestingly, at the very start of the game, you don't really have enough energy to fly over to your enemy's encampment and actually do anything. Like the enemy is like at the very top there. Let's just see if I can make it to his base. We can get into a fight with him. I'm getting pretty low on energy here. Okay, all right, there's some units here. I'm gonna transform into mech form and then go ahead and destroy these guys. See, notice I'm taking damage. And he's gonna come and he can actually defend himself if he wants. He can turn into mech form and start fighting me. He can just let his units do the fighting. I'm actually destroying a lot of his units here, which is pretty fun. Um, and you can also then turn back into a jet and you can find the computer and you can shoot him and all sorts of great stuff. Anyway, I've totally screwed this up because the computer is way ahead of me. Oh, look, and then this is a showcase of him destroying me. All right, so this first match here, we're going to restart. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the mechanics. So while I was playing, you weren't totally lost because the game goes pretty fast and I'm not going to be able to talk through everything that I'm doing. So you're just going to have to kind of watch and follow along. But with that said, let's go ahead and uh, restart here. Alrighty here. In the interest of variety, I mean, we just saw Abkrund. Let's go to like another map just to like see other things. This is like islands, which is kind of interesting. This one's like a stadium. Let's go with Always. And we'll do type A so the computer is on easy mode. Aw oh, man, the, the idea of transformable mechs is just so cool. Okay, we're going to start by building soldiers that can capture enemy bases. That is what we want. And... The only neutral base is, like, way over there. Okay, we're going to go down to the bottom right corner. You actually fly a lot slower, I think, when you are carrying dudes. So... Alright, I'm just going to drop this guy off right there. And then we'll go ahead and build. You can build from anywhere on the map. You don't have to be like over a base, but you can only pick guys up from over a base. Notice I'm waiting for my energy to regenerate. I could also be like just dropping these guys here. I don't have to like fly them all the way to the base, actually. In fact, I should just be pumping guys out. Like they, they will figure out what to do. Um, there's a 50 unit limit in this game, so you can't just pump out an infinite number of units. But in practice, like honestly, once you start controlling like a couple of units, it actually can get quite difficult to control too many more. All right, we've captured a base. Let's go here and okay, let's start fighting the computer. I'm going to start building some tanks. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to build it with that order. My tank has an order to enter a building. Not going to work out too well. All right, you dude, come here. And drop you at the perfect spot. There you go. Go ahead and capture that. And actually, now that this base becomes mine, I can heal here. I can pick up my tank that is going to be interested in going in people's buildings. But instead, I will give it a, uh, I don't know. That order. That order tells it to go and destroy an enemy base. So you can definitely see sort of the Dune 2 influences here. Dune 2 was the first real-time strategy game that um, I ever played personally. Um, and this game is sort of like if the cursor of Dune 2 was an actual unit. So rather than um, 
you know, rather than uh, just being able to point and click anywhere on the screen, um, SOS means that we're under attack. So I assume it's my tank that's attacking the enemy base. I'm gonna keep dumping off tanks here and see how this goes. Um, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, that's that's sad. Hey, you get out of here! Oh, he's trying to capture my base. Hold on here. Destroy the human. All right. Well, he's clearly. Oh, hello. Oh, he's, he dropped a motorcycle of some kind into my base. Oh, I think B is base damage. You can actually uh, suffer a loss if your base gets too destroyed. You actually have to defend yourself. I have no idea how to actually win at this game. Oh, get out of here, you stupid computer. Get out of here. Get out of here. He's like too afraid to fight me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, we're going to go into air mode too and chase him down. No, we're not. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, something is SOSing. I think my base is under attack. Where, though? That's actually problematic. Um, not there. Oh, no, this is bad. Look at the, the B. The base damage. We're getting damaged. Where the hell are you? Oh, what the hell is this crap? All right, we'll destroy all these guys. Okay. We're playing on the computer's easiest mode. I think I'm in a lot of trouble because they're already kind of screwing me over. Oh, they have ships. I didn't even know that was a thing. Get over here, ship. You're done. Um, but it, it does, like, it, the idea of a carry-all. If you guys remember Dune 2, a carry-all was like a... Uh, was like a, a unit that picked up and dropped off units to the battlefield. That's basically this thing. You know, I'm in like, the carry-alls are kind of like computer-controlled Herzog's way dudes. Get out of here. He wants to capture my base, not on my watch. The only thing I dislike about this game, besides the fact that I just got utterly destroyed, is the fact that it's really hard to watch combat. Like, if you thought it was hard to multitask while you were playing a real-time strategy game and, like, click between different screens and stuff, imagine if your cursor literally... Uh, you know, you had to follow it, like, with your camera. Like, you weren't allowed to look at a part of the map that wasn't being... that, that was away from your cursor. It would just be infuriating. So, like, I have no idea what's going on on this battlefield, other than the fact that he seems to have a whole bunch of tanks and stuff, and they keep attacking me. So I'm gonna start building more advanced unit units. Let's go ahead... I'm gonna build some, uh, bikes to attack his base. We'll see how he likes it. We'll destroy this thing. So the units are all very weak. Like, your dude is easily able to, uh, to take them on. You're sort of... I don't even know what you call it. A Her we'll call it a Herzog. So your Herzog is definitely able to sort of just take on the enemy here with very little, uh, trouble. Oh, I just destroyed my, my motorcycle. You bastards. Get away! It's like the computer can multitask so much better than I can. Actually infuriating. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what's going on in this battlefield at all. Because uh, I'm just sort of limited to hanging around my bases. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a computer, which is we're building a tank meant to attack other tanks. We're meant to attack his base. So I'm going to drop it off over here. And hopefully it goes and, like, attacks him and does some damage. All right, go ahead. We'll build another one right over here. What is this guy up to? What are these guys up to? They're in, like, a patrol route over here. Oh, look, there's just soldiers walking across the battlefield. How does he build so many units? I feel like uh, I feel like this game needs to be two players cooperative, where, like, one person manages the base and the other person is, like, busy picking up the units and stuff. Uh, but you guys, I'm sure you can totally see where the MOBA influence comes from. Like, here's something that's ra rather fascinating about this game. So this game is often cited as, like, the progenitor of all modern real-time strategy games. The creators of Dune 2 and Warcraft really like this game, and the idea of those games kind of came from this. I mean, Warcraft also copied Dune 2, um, so, it, you know, its idea came from, you know, Dune 2. But anyway... Um, so when the creators of Dune 2 were kind of playing this, they were like, hey, you know what would be cool is Dune 2. And they kind of like proposed a real-time strategy game. But really, this is actually a MOBA. Like, it kind of is 
you know, it's kind of a, kind of a real-time strategy game, but it's really more of a MOBA. Um, and so it's kind of interesting to think... Uh, hold on, let's do... I think I'm getting destroyed. I, I heard the enemy shooting. I think he was just attacking me as I was uh, building units there. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's really more of a MOBA. Like, you're building units, dropping them on the battlefield, and they're running off to destroy the enemy. Let's make, like, a squad of tanks. Oh, here's an idea. I can drop off tanks into, like, one cluster. Come on, buddy. You're gonna die this time! Not me! Die! Get out of here! Okay, where's that squad of tanks? Oh, we're making a Doom Squad. Oh, I like this, actually. That's cool. You can, like, catch up to the other tanks and make, like, a little team. Maybe we will win this. I, I had resigned to losing this match, but I kind of feel like maybe we're actually in it. All right, let's find our squad. Ah! You can't chase me down! Oh, here they are. Boom! It was worth it! It was worth it! He's gonna run out of bullets, actually. <laughs> It's kind of funny, he's chasing me around trying to kill me. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... Oh, did somebody run out of bullets? Oh, are you done now? Oh, I ran out of energy. Crap. Alright, well, pro tip, watch your energy levels. Anyway, I just kind of thought it was fascinating how, like, technically this game... I would actually call it a MOBA. And it inspired the real-time strategy genre which later on gave birth to MOBAs. You know, like the first MOBA, Defense of the Ancients, was a mod for Warcraft 3. And Warcraft 3 was a progenitor off of Warcraft 1, which was based on this, which was a MOBA. So the, the evolution of real-time strategy as a genre went uh, MOBA, inspired real-time strategy, inspired, uh, inspired MOBA, right? Like it kind of went into full circle. I don't know, it's, it's very fascinating actually when you think about it. Um, anyway, those jerks. I'm just going to go around on foot blowing up the vehicles because, like, to hell with it. The only problem with this strategy is, well, first of all, you're going to run out of energy. But the other problem is that nobody's at home to defend your base. So, okay, here I have a new strategy. Here's my new strategy. Let's build some defensive units, first of all. So here's a turret. Holy jeez, 15,000! Okay, we're gonna build one turret and one surface tear missile launcher. And then we will build, like, a tank, and then we're gonna go with our tank to try and capture the enemy territory. Oh my god, they took that base! Oh no, wait, they, they were taking it. Oh, and they hadn't finished taking it. Okay, hold on, let's drop our turret over here. I have a feeling they're trying to snake this base, base away from us. Boom, alright, we got our turret. Um, now we want a SAM site. The SAM, the, the surface tear missile site will really help us when it comes to- Hey, that guy just straight up went through my base. Hey, get back here, you! The surface tear missile will really help us when the enemy comes to shoot at us, because it does a lot of damage to the, uh, to the enemy aircraft. There we go, alright. We have some defensive structures. Um, now it is time to go back to... You know what? I kind of want to try and capture that base there. Okay, if I can get one forward base, I think that would really help my capacity to, uh, to take out the enemy. That's what we're going to try. God, I wish I could just hang back and defend my base, but I really can't. Where's this base here? I'm going to drop, drop you there. Aha! You may be trying to capture a base from me, but I am busy capturing a base from you, silly computer. Computor will be his name. It's it's not ER at the end of computer, it's Computor. Like he's some kind of evil demon. My my Jay's lifelong adversary, Computor. Too late! Too late! Oh, they stopped him from capturing that. Shoot, that sucks. Okay, get away from me! Oh, here comes the Sam site! Here comes the Sam site! Do something, Sam site! Oh, I, I still died! I had a surface tear missile planted right there. Oh, the, he has really low health left, though. That's the D. Okay. Um, Let's build another turret for defense. Turrets cost a ton of money, actually. It's crazy. We'll build one more turret. We'll defend ourselves, and then we'll try and get that forward base. 
Oh my god, he destroyed my turret. Or my Sam site. Hold on. Alright, let's do this! 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 Oh my god, he, he made it away. What are all these vehicles doing getting through my defenses? Get over here! Die! Man, I thought this game would actually be a little easy to, like, take a computer down, but it's actually proven, like, really hard. Okay, um, let's build a tank. And we'll give it some good orders. That's sort of like a defend your zone kind of order. Get out of here! Okay, here's our new strategy. Our new strategy is we're going to build up a bunch of units near our base. And then we'll, like, unleash them on the enemy when the time is right. We'll pick them up and reprogram all their orders. Kind of weird that it costs money to, like, give orders to your units, but that's how it works. Oh, we blew them up! Now you see how you like it. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. We give this guy different orders. There we go. You have defensive style orders, sir. And then we'll pick this guy up. What are your orders? Good, defensive. That's what I want. No, wait. Where are you going? All right, here are your orders. Defensive. Okay, we'll build one more tank with defensive style orders. And then we're going to bum rush them with a bunch of infantry. So I'm going to have to... Uh, die, 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 die. Oh, you know what I'm going to need? Is a supply unit. Right. Okay, because our guys will run out of ammo and stuff, so we need supply. All right, supply truck. I think the supply truck can drop supplies that you yourself can use, but don't quote me on that. I... Uh, oh, where's that truck going? Um, I uh, have only ever played this game for, like, again, 10 minutes before today. So... Oh, what are you trying to do here? Oh, we blew up the computer again. All right, we're doing pretty good. We have like a nice forward defensive zone. Now's the time when you start pumping out infantry. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to build like four or five or six. We'll build six infantry. And then I'm going to give them the orders to capture the enemy base. And while that's going on, I'm going to go with my tanks to like clear the way. We're going to do like a big bum rush. <laughs> My strategy in this real time strategy game is the bum rush. Okay, we have like five. All right. There's no way they're going to be able to withstand this. OK, so let's start building. I'm going to build a turret even. And I can just dump it at the enemy base. OK. Oh, wait, I don't even have enough money to give these guys orders at the moment. Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem. What kind of orders do I want to give to this guy here? Oh, that guy, that guy's totally done. I don't even have to worry about the computer anymore because my units are kind of taking care of it. Uh, okay, I'll drop you down. Let's see if we have enough money yet. 5,000. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to go for... Uh, you go in the base. You go in the base. Got you... You want to go in the base. You go in the base. Drop you down somewhere. Uh, you go in the base. But that's as many as I can build. As many orders as I can give at the moment. Hey, there's a tank just straight up like going somewhere. Let's pick him up. He needs help. Sir, come with me. Boom. Get to it. Right, meanwhile, let's just grab a couple of these guys. Oh, I'm totally gonna run out of energy. Oh well, it's I'm I'm done for. <laughs> Damn it! No, I wanted to be part of this combat. I totally forgot that I have energy requirements. Shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna run out of energy before I get to the next base. No, I'm not. I'm still alive somehow. Boom! We blew him up though. Um, I have a feeling all those soldiers that I built just got, like, straight up sent to their death. Go. Um, you go. And you. Where are you? 
You want to go into a base. Go! Did they do anything? Oh, they're just getting straight up obliterated. Yeah! Get out of here! Man, it is really hard to capture enemy territory. Okay, well, I don't know what's happening. I think the computer is occupied. Problem is I can't, like, build guys fast enough. Maybe I can. Now he's straight up killing my dudes. Go in the base! Wait, can we kill this guy? Apparently you use a lot less energy in mech mode as well. So that is actually something to consider. If you're very low on energy, sometimes you might be able to, like, scoot away by going to mech mode. But you move so much slower, too, that it's like, you know... Is it really... Are you really going to get that far, basically? Oh my god, we have two of three. We actually, in theory, could capture this. Oh my god, if we got this forward base, that would be a huge achievement for us. Oh, die! Oh, we blew him up! Okay, he is not there to defend his base. We got this. Oh yeah, alright, there you go. Go in! Go in! Take the base! Yeah, we got it. All right. Now, let's build a turret to defend ourselves. Oh, you jerk, you jerk, you jerk, you jerk. You son of a bitch. All right, it's okay. The turret needs time to build. We need time to regenerate. Yeah, let's just fly right over to our base. Make sure... I really don't want him taking that base back. Although it is actually very hard to, to get bases in this, it seems. Okay, we're gonna build another one. Oh, we don't even have enough money. Uh, I guess we'll just build some tanks. Get out of here! Get out of here! Boom! Oh, he's... We might actually win this! I'm gonna go scout his other base in a second. See what we got going on over here. Maybe we can, like, choke him off. Yeah. Hmm, here's, a, here's an interesting strategy. What if we build some soldiers... I still don't have enough money for that. What if we build some soldiers? And we'll plate we'll start placing them as soon as he comes over here and dies. Because you know he's totally coming over here. Or maybe he's not. Like going over there. Alright. We're gonna try and capture this forward base too. The bum rush is in full effect. Oh shoot, what's being attacked? Something is being attacked. I think our main base is being attacked. Oh no! We might lose! Hey, there's a soldier just hanging out there. Gotta remember to come back for him. Get away! Okay. We safe? We're safe. We're barely alive. Well, let's grab this guy. Grab you. Come with me, buddy. Oh, we blew up! Did we kill the soldier in the process? So, we are in a very interesting tactical position. We probably can take... We probably almost can take the uh, game. The only problem is that he might blow up our base and thereby win. Like we're definitely we're definitely at an advantage here, but I feel like I kind of have to like hang back and defend for a sec here. Oh, you jerk! That was my base. Hold on. Let's start uh, building some soldiers here to uh, defend this. Oh, he blew up my main base. <laughs> well played, computer. Well played. Player two wins. So I think with enough time, I could have built up turrets and actually gotten close enough to his base to do something. But he was really good at sneaking units behind my lines and attacking me. All right, computer. That was the easiest computer level, by the way. I think we should try one more because it's Herzog's way. It's it's the progenitor of every single real-time strategy game I ever loved growing up. Vulcan. Kind of looks like the Vulcan from Star Trek because it's like a hellscape desert. Lock, Strand. Let's try uh, Stat, the uh, city environment, and we'll keep the computer on easy. Well, the fat lot of good it does me. Um, all right. Our first order of business is to capture some territories. That is always the first order of business. 
And so we're going to fly down here. There's like a neutral base right over here somewhere. Uh, where am I? Oh, I flew past it. Okay, there we go. Um, whoops, did not mean to do that. Okay, and I, I just have trouble like orienting myself to the map. I imagine that once you play this game enough, you get uh, much better at it. And uh, you don't have to constantly look at the mini map like I do. Okay, and let's change this guy's order to that. All right, so we've, we're going to have this base in a second here. I'm so low on energy, but I'm pushing the limits. All right, there we go. Now we have a bit of breathing room to think. We should probably try and capture another base. I guess the problem with capturing too many bases too fast is like it's hard to defend. Like maybe that was my problem last time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, whatever. Let's see if we can capture this base down here. Why not? Oh my god, it's so far away. Uh, I don't care about capturing that one. It's not going to be proud. Didn't mean to do that. I just built another soldier. Um, okay, so they're busy doing that stuff. Wait, did I fly past my base? I totally did, didn't I? All right. This soldier here, we're just going to dump him on the field. And we'll let him do his thing. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what he'll do? All right, back to... Let's build some defensive structures here. Um, oh my god, the computer's trying to capture one of my bases. Like, hey, it's it's dumping stuff off over over here. Oh, you jerk! I'm gonna start defending this. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Yeah! Oh, we died in the process. But we delayed his capture of that base. All right, time to go place a turret. Oh, shoot. I don't want to die while I'm holding the turrets. Damn it. He's probably going to capture that base. <laughs> I'm going to go lob a turret right in front of an enemy base. Does not seem like it's going to work out too well. You really do notice, though, like when you are flying with a unit, you do feel slower. Okay, so we have to defend this, this base. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, there you go. You run for your life, little man. The giant mech comes for you. Oh, no, they captured the base. Damn it, it's his. Um, son of a bitch. All right, whatever. You know what? You can have it. I'm not going to play this. His, his game. I'm, I'm dead. I ran out of energy. Here's our, our plan. We're going to hunker down. We're going to have a much smaller amount of territory to protect. But in the end, it will be better for us. He's going to have too much to defend, and it's going to work against him somehow. Somehow... This is going to work to my advantage. Now, where the hell did I drop that turret? Son of a bitch, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, so this turret, rather than just letting it go to waste, defending like a pointless outpost, it'll go right there. All right, now let's build another one. I really like the turrets. So I'm going to try and build as many of those as I can. I feel like they're a good purchase. I'm just watching him on the radar to see what he does. Another interesting thing is... In this game like because your mouse cursor is basically a unit it's like you can look on the radar and see where the other guy is and you can go to the other part of the map and start doing shenanigans over there like it is very different than a normal real-time strategy game i mean it's a moba right like it's it's different than a real-time strategy game because in essence um you can have people out of position but in a real-time strategy game that doesn't it's not really a thing it's not like you know, um, if somebody is looking on a different screen, you can go to a screen where they're not and get away with stuff because it's like a, it's very easy for them to come back. They just click over to a different part of the screen on their mini map and voila, they're there. Um, I don't know, by the way, what is passable terrain and what is not. So that could work against me. Um, what, what were these guys shooting at? Nothing. They were just practicing or targeting, I guess. All right, now let's build some supply units. I'm going to try... So here's my strategy this time. I'm going to try, like, very slowly creeping my army forward. That's what I did in Dune 2. That's how I won in Dune. So this time I'm not going to leave my base undefended. And I'm going to slowly creep forward and leapfrog my units. Once I get, like, a nice big force, that's what we're going to do. 
Um, you go. I can't place this guy. <laughs> I'm not allowed to put him down. There we go. Um, okay. So let's have... Have... I don't know, more tanks. Tanks are good, right? I'm just I'm just obsessed with tanks. Nothing beats a tank, right? It's like rock and rock, paper, scissors. Good old rock, nothing beats that. <laughs> Drop the tank. There we go. Um, all right, that seems like a pretty good force. The interesting thing is turrets, you can are also mobile. You can actually like move them around, but um Okay, I feel like that's good. We'll just keep, continue to build tanks. And in the meantime, let's start the process of the leapfrog. Bring, start bringing these guys from the back, forward. And everything's going to work out. Trust me, this is a foolproof, foolproof strategy. It does take a long time. It is not a fast strategy. I'm also fine with the fact that uh, I've had a cons completed unit for a while um, because I want to save up money for the turrets. I feel like the turrets are the best bang for your buck. There you go, that guy, that little army soldier. I see you creeping up on me, dude. Um, how am I under attack? What is happening? How did they get all the way back here? Who is over here? Oh, you little bastard. You little bastard. All right, so apparently we need to build a couple tanks to hang back here. That's okay. I'm not gonna be able to stand up to my main force once we get once we get going here. Okay, one. How about we build one tank, three tanks. I'm gonna say one tank and a turret, but I don't have enough money for a turret. I'm oddly poor. It has nothing to do with the fact that. I uh, don't have as many territories as the enemy. The enemy has one, two, three, four, five, six, six territories in a main base. I have three territories in a main base. They're definitely outproducing me. But if there's one thing I know from real-time strategy games, production is not the only metric of success. If I have a better strategy, I will kick their butt. All right, have a good, nice, nice tank formation here. Nice defensive formation. Can't drop my unit. <laughs> There we go. All right, and I feel like that's fine. As long, you know what? As long as the the computer is busy trying to drop soldiers on me, I don't mind if the odd soldier gets through and gets like a pot shot, because I'm gonna be busy over here. Where is their base? There's their base. I'm gonna I'm gonna start like really leapfrogging things, and we're saving up for another turret because. They're pretty awesome. This is actually what I used to do in like Dune 2 and Command and Conquer is like I would uh, in Dune 2 you'd like build a uh, you'd build a whole line of concrete slabs all the way to the enemy base and then you would place uh, turrets like right near their base because turrets were so powerful and so cheap that you could just camp turrets right outside the enemy base and they would basically destroy the base. Um, I did that in Command and Conquer as well. You'd build, build like a wall of sandbags, get to the enemy base, and just drop an obelisk of light like right in their base. And we have enough money for a turret. Do it. Hopefully, once we kind of get to the enemy base... God, what is happening back at my base? Hopefully, once we get to the enemy base, they'll be so distracted by the fact that we're building turrets and stuff outside their base that they're going to have to stop harassing my main base. But in the meantime, grab you two. I'll leave those two tanks back for defense. But okay, we're starting to leapfrog our way forward. Let's go get some energy here. Okay. That SOS alert goes off, I think, even when like you get a tiny hit on your base. Maybe I should go back. Hold on, I'm going to go back for a minute and move my guys forward a bit. I think they're just letting the enemy get way too close. Like, the enemy keeps coming from this direction. If I do this... This should be pretty good. There we go, and then I'll do this... Oh, hello! What the hell is this? Hmm. Alright, maybe we should hang around till we can build a turret here to, like, properly defend our base. 
There we go. Get out of here. We'll build one turret to defend the home the home territory. We'll just watch our money creep up. Hey, wait, did they take another base? Oh my god, I only have two bases left. Uh, this is kind of bad, actually. I really let my whole empire fall into ruin. Hmm, maybe my strategy is not gonna work. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't have a lot of confidence, guys. Drop. Alright, there we go. Alright. Main base is at least defended. And I only have two other bases left, so... Should be easy to defend these. Uh, let's just start leapfrogging our way forward. I need soldiers to capture the enemy base. So let's start building these guys. Boom, and we'll get another one building. Yeah, I don't have time to go back and check that SOS, so it's like... You're kind of on your own, guys. I wish you all the best. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and manually clear up these tanks. And, now that we've done that, build our, bring our turrets forward. And we're gonna drop turrets at the enemy base. Seems like a good strategy. And like, lock down their base with our defensive units. And then even if, uh, the, uh, the computer dude comes to, uh, comes to attack, it's not gonna make any difference, because my turrets will be too powerful. He won't be able to take his base back once there are three turrets. Put another one of these. Fly it down here. Take this. And we will grab this turret. Alright. So, we are getting a base back. This is kind of working out. Oh, and I should be... It didn't work. Um, this is kind of working out. I almost have this forward base. I think my strategy... Oh god, I just, just died. Oh my god, there's guys coming from every direction. Okay, I didn't anticipate this. That's why they're getting through. Gotta move my turret. Heal, heal, heal. The computer's just relentless, man. He's like, everywhere I am not is where he is going. Oh, it's just so annoying. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. I think you just have to save up and build like a thousand turrets. This game would be actually really fun, I think, with another player. Um, you know, against the computer, it's obviously uh, more difficult. I mean, I'm sure someone who's actually good at this game could uh, do quite well. You know what? That was actually surprisingly easy. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's just bring these turrets down to the enemy base. Right? Like, let's start planting turrets right outside the enemy base. And meanwhile, we'll, I don't know, dump this over here. Capturing bases doesn't actually really seem to matter. If I can have like four or five turrets, I can basically just lock him out of the whole game. All right. Could be kind of interesting. Interesting strategy we got going on here. We're saving up for more turrets. I should bring my tanks and stuff down though. All right, dudes. The party is happening. Everybody come down this way. Oh god, you fly so slow. <laughs> I guess you're not supposed to manually deliver every single troop in the game. You're supposed to, like, give them orders and, like, let them do some stuff. It's a MOBA. You're not supposed to micromanage. But I'm playing this like it's a real-time strategy game. I'm like, you know what? Maybe in a MOBA you trust the NPCs, the, uh, what do you call them, the creeps, to do things by themselves. But I come from the land of RTS games, man. You micromanage every single unit. Every single unit. Oh, you have an SOS on my base? Well, guess what? You're about to have one on your own base. Okay, here we go. Let's just see what we got to work with down here. Boom, let's destroy all this stuff. All right. You didn't really leave any powerful defenses here, computer. 
Can't kill that soldier. There we go. Alright. You? I want to change your order to attack the enemy base. You? I want to change your order to attack the enemy base. Wait, 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 where, where are you going? Attack the enemy base. Oh god, how are we still losing? Ah, uh, here we go. Now the computer's getting worried. Now the computer's getting worried. I think I just destroyed the computer as well. Where'd that other tank go? Oh, I just ran out of energy. That's okay! The computer's in such disarray, it's like, Holy shit! I'm getting attacked! This sucks! Oh, the computer just got instantly destroyed again. I'm looking at the D-bar. It's like damage meter. It got instantly destroyed again. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Like, regenerate our energy. Oh man, the computer just is totally screwed. Aha! My strategy of giving up all the other territories that didn't matter actually kind of worked. Um, we're going to move these turrets up. Boom, boom. Now, build that, and I can build another turret. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Good luck, buddy! Yeah, I'm about to die. Um, that's okay, though. Okay, I, I just have to start building some tanks that want to attack the enemy base, because turret-wise, we got him on lockdown. I think he spawns and dies more or less instantly. I'm just gonna, gonna get over here. Let me get to my forward base, actually. Just somewhere around here. Uh oh, did he destroy all the turrets? I think he might have. Son of a bitch, how did he do that? Mmm, god damn it! Um, okay, well, we did a fair amount of damage to him, but I think we're still going to lose this match. Son of a bitch. Where's my base? <laughs> okay, we, we can do this, people. We had, like, three turrets built up. We're just going to sit here and wait for money. And hope that we can win before he kills us. Look at him, he's going right for my base. A dick. He's taken all the territories. I think the problem is that, like... The, it, it's a very hard game. Here's, here's the problem. I can either go on the offensive or I can try and capture bases. When I'm trying to capture bases, I just, like... I think he's gonna win. When I try to capture bases, it, I, I just... I, I can't also attack him. He's simultaneously taken all the bases on the map and attacked me. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. Obviously, my strategy is no good, but um, yeah, the computer <laughs> kicked my butt twice in a row. We gave him a run for his money, though, last game. I will contend that we were finally, like, giving the computer a challenge. That was a big surprise attack. You know what? If my units, if I hadn't run out of energy and I could have stayed with my units and, like, covered their back and stuff, I should have just been roaming around in mech mode. Um, oh man, if I'd been roaming around in mech mode, I wouldn't have wasted so much energy. I could have just defended my units and I could have given those tanks enough time to destroy the base. If I And if I had like two or three more tanks, it would have been done. So I think my surprise attack was the right move. I just did it too early. And the computer by that time had all the bases, so I had no money. It was like a last ditch effort. So I couldn't recover after that. Uh, but yeah. Herzog's Way, interesting game. I will say that I don't enjoy it as much as a game like Dune 2. Like a real, real-time strategy game, I think I enjoy more. I think I felt very limited in the fact that, like, wherever my mouse cursor was, that's where my unit was. And so it's like I couldn't be helping defend far-off regions of the map. So I really just got outmaneuvered here. Um, uh, in an interesting twist, I think this game really is a bit more of a MOBA game than a real-time strategy game, but it inspired the real-time strategy genre, um, which is so kind of interesting because then out of real-time strategy games came MOBAs. 
Um, the legacy of this game, by the way, lives on. There's a game called Air Mech, which is basically this game, but just in a free-to-play online capacity. You fly around as a mech with bases, you capture bases, you build units, drop them on the battlefield, they run around like creeps, like in a MOBA and so on. So, it's definitely a game that... If you had played this back in the 90s on your Sega Genesis, like before real-time strategy games were a thing, like this game would have been so unique, so interesting, so cool. It definitely innovated um, to the degree that it basically helped spawn the real-time strategy genre. So yeah, I mean, it's a hard game. I didn't do very well today, but I still think it's actually one of the most influential games we've ever played on this channel. I mean, it's up there with games like Doom and stuff. Even though I think this game, I mean, I don't think, I know this game is not necessarily as commercially successful or even as widely known as games like Doom, um, which Doom, you know, really, I mean, Wolfenstein and Doom really spawned the first person shooter genre. So, you know, is this a game that you must play before you die? I think I would say like, it's good to know about historically. And definitely like if you have a Sega Genesis and you like playing multiplayer games with your friends, this would be an awesome one to play with a friend. I think human versus human, it would be, far more competitive because the fact that I was so bad at this game, if you're playing against a friend, he would be bad too, or she would be bad. And then as a result, you'd be on equal footing. So yeah, I think this is an amazingly cool game. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily recommend people to run out and play it if, you know, they're, they're like modern RTS games, uh, because this may not be up their alley in the same way that I wasn't really any good at it. But definitely a hugely impactful game, a very cool and innovative game for its time, and I'm happy that we did check it out today. So what do you guys think of Herzog's Way Here? Is it a game that you have played back in the past? Do you have any tips or tricks or fond memories? Is it a game that you'd always heard about um, as the progenitor of real-time strategy games but never actually checked out? Um, and if so, what do you think of it? Uh, sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And whatever you guys think of the game, hopefully today was entertaining. Hopefully you had a laugh at my expense. If that was the case, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. Um, and I will be back soon with another game in the ongoing quest to play every game in the book of 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So this is the beginning of year six, guys. So we are halfway done the quest, and I am very excited to check out the other half of the book with you guys. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace. Well played, computer. Well played. Get over here.